Morning. Uh, welcome to the 23rd, just a quick assembly um, for this week. Um, mm, it's a lovely cup of tea. Uh, you may or may not realise that, um, well, first of all, this is the weather forecast, but also today, the sun rose at just 20 to 5 and will set at quarter to 10. That's quite a long day of sunshine, isn't it? And in fact, that's 17 hours and seven minutes of daylight because uh, two days ago, or, or day ago, depending on who, who you believe, was the summer solstice. Now, back on December the 22nd, the sun was just rising just before uh, 8.30, so just before we opened the doors to school and set only six minutes after we close day schools. That's only seven hours and 20 minutes. So the difference between the most sunshine during a day or the time the sun's up and the least is almost 10 hours. Now, I've said solstice. Solstices were a very special day in pagan calendars and in modern calendars, as were equinoxes. equinoxes. Now, I might have got the plural for that wrong. The idea of a solstice was if you imagine the horizon, also oh, sorry, derivation of the word solstice, the sun rises at one point in the horizon and appears to set at another. In winter time, those two points in the horizon are relatively close together. In the summer time, those two points get further and further apart. So where the sun appears to rise seems to travel along the horizon until on the longest day it gets its furthest point and then comes back. At that point the sun's movement along the horizon seems to stop. Solstice means the sun stopping and similar at the other end. So solstice, the, the sun stood still, is about the two points on the horizon which it reaches and then comes back from. Whereas equinox, a bit more um, straightforward, is equal sunlight and um, non-sunlight during the day. And that, well, there's a question for you. Can you find out when this year's two equinoxes are? Um, we've been enjoying in the garden all the young birds that have been coming to, to see us. We've had blue tits in the garden. We've had great young great tits in the garden. This bottom left one is a, what is it, Ethan? There, um, that's a young robin. We've had young blackbirds, we've had young coltits. Now, all these small birds, and we've had a young crow as well. Yeah, thank you, Ethan. We've had a young crow. A lot of these smaller birds will have had young by now, which have fledged, which they've gone to having feathers. They've less left the nest. So these young birds will have um, been um, hatched without feathers, and they've now got their wings feathers, they're fledged. Now there are some bigger birds like this one, whose young will still be on the nest because the sparrow hawk times its breeding so that all the young birds are just flying when it's trying to find food for its young ones. Now the other thing I found, I'm going to try and do it, is on the BBC site are these stay in work out videos. Now I found this one by Bradley Simmons was particularly vicious. It's a really good one now and it's a bit longer than just a, a two or three minute one. I think it came out to be about 20 minutes in it. The stay in work out. Oh yeah it's 20 minutes long. It's a fantastic fantastic video. Yeah I think the children should do that one Ethan. Do you want to wave Ethan? Do you just want to put your hand in the, the shot? No? Um, that's a very good one. And if you look, if you're getting bored of the ones you're doing, the BBC workout seems to have ones by footballers, by divers, by people doing taekwondo, snowboarders, all sorts on a stay in workout. And I think that links to Sport England as well. And the final thing I want to do, so I just say as a short one today, I'm excited, but Bob Dylan has, I think, released an album after a long, long time, and they're saying it might be his best album in 30 years. Now, Bob Dylan is a artist that my 
father used to introduce us to. Uh, this is a brilliant one back from the 60s, blowing in the winds in that. He was a protest singer. He was a poet and a protest singer. I'm excited about listening to his new music. I'd give that a go if you haven't learned, listened to anything new for a while. And talk about protest singers, singers who sang about social issues. A bit more up to date, but still from my generation, not yours. Have a go at some... Billy Bragg and a good starting point is Life's a Riot with Spy versus Spy with fantastic songs like New England on that and Richard. Okay then, hope you enjoy all this fantastic sunshine. Till next week, goodbye. <laughs>